clean during your time there that, that may have helped you? No. Or is it just too long ago? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody asked me that before, and it's like our offense, we practice against them every day, but every time we scrimmage, they still get plays on us. So I think that's uh, overrated. I know it sounds like maybe a better story than it really is. So if you want to make something up, go for it. But no, there's nothing more to it. So I guess I was just going to say that maybe what what would you chalk it up to then? The, the, what's the, your ability to, to um, stop? Boise. Well, I think uh, I thought we played with really good effort overall and uh, a lot of want to. Guys were into the game. I felt, felt like they played uh, with a pretty calm demeanor, you know, and still aggressive and all that, which was great. Uh, we knew there'd be a lot of energy coming into the game, so I thought they did a good job of managing that for the most part. Um, I think uh, we played pretty physical in our coverage, and uh, I thought that was good, good for us in terms of the matchups. And, uh, the run game at times was okay, and then there was times we didn't tackle very well. And so that's something that's got to be a huge emphasis for us uh, this week, which it has been so far, and will continue to be before we play again. So. What does that mean? How do you guys practice that even in, 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 in a bio like this? It's practice tackling? Yeah. Yeah, you do it a number of different ways. Uh, it's not always live. It's getting yourself in the right position to make a tackle, uh, whether it's bag work, sled work. Some of it can be live uh, in a controlled environment where there's not a lot of bodies on the ground, but just working the fundamentals of tackling, and that's uh, we need to emphasize it more, so that's 100% my fault, and we need to improve upon it because if we don't, um, those, that's where the yards after contact show up next. You can't have that. That's an estimation of the proliferation of the mistakes. 17. 17. Yeah. 17 times we had a, a, a chance to make a tackle that we did not make. And sometimes that's ability. I mean, I understand that too. They got good players, they got good schemes. So there's also that element. But when we had opportunities, you know, we're not going to let guys slide because, you know, they got good players. We're going to play good players all season. So. Uh, there were 17 uh, in the game. How much do you think the pace of play against the offense is going to help I think the mechanics of getting the call, getting lined up, we did a pretty good job. There were some a few uh, instances where we didn't, and we need to do obviously clean those up because uh, you can't let something go on the film just because it wasn't exploited. So sometimes we might have a, uh, a misalignment or a bust that didn't show up negatively in the play, but you don't just go through the film and say, oh, it's okay, they didn't they didn't exploit it. Because, you know, the next time that happens, it's a touchdown. So those are the things that we have got to be uh, extremely detailed on. So, and there was a couple of those. And um, fortunately for us, they, they didn't happen. Um, and a couple times it did. They exploited us when we made a mistake. And so uh, those are things we've got to clean up. So it's in the physical coverage. What exactly were they missing? Yeah. 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 Just uh, a lot of, we played a fair amount of press coverage. We played a, a lot of single high defense, which means we're covered down on every receiver and trying to get our hands on people. Uh, and I thought for the most part we did that. There was a couple times during the game, a couple points where our technique, uh, especially later in drives, our technique began to get a little bit sloppy. So that's got to be a point of emphasis for us when we get tired. Technique is what saves you on those long drives. And so that'll be, again, a, another emphasis for us this week and next week and throughout the season. Do you want to press more coverage to get the pass rush? Is that the point that you want to do throughout the season? Uh, we press more in coverage if, uh, based on game plan, based on matchups, based on... Yeah, what kind of routes are they throwing? Are they a play action team? Are they a quick game team? What, what are they doing? So uh, we will we'll do that just based on what, what gives us the best chance to win. So just the, the D line and Evan Hudson in particular. Obviously. I thought Evan, he, he uh, led our D line in production. Uh, and sometimes being productive doesn't show as much in the stat sheet or the wow plays. But in terms of having an impact on the game, Howley showed up a couple times, had some real good plays. He had a great third down play early in the first quarter on a uh, uh, third and short where he played six techniques, struck the tight end, got rid of him, made the play on the back. That was a great play, had a batted ball. Danny had a couple nice plays. It's just the consistency, I think. But back to your question on Evan, uh, it was good for us to have him. We needed him. He played uh, about 60 some, 64 or five snaps, I think, um, which is a, probably a few too many, but uh, close to what we'd like to get him. So as a coordinator, and from a coaching perspective, is this almost a perfect win-win for you in the sense that they obviously did great things, you held the, the offense 
to a lot of things, but yet you still obviously have a lot of talking points and a lot of teaching points. Yeah, uh, anytime you win a game, I mean, we're going to take it however we can get it. I mean, a win is the number one thing. So we were fortunate to play well enough to win, but there was a lot of things. We didn't go to our meetings and everybody pat each other on the back. I mean, you know, we're going to tell them when they do things right, tell them great job, but when they're wrong, we're going to uh, tell them when they're wrong and show them how to do it right and make them come out here in the field and do it right. Initial impressions on Illinois?